Today, after many requests, we create ninjas starting soon screen. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today we're taking a look at another template inside of After Effects. This one I'm super excited about because it's been highly requested down in the comments and in my Twitter DMs and things like that. And I've worked on it for a little while now. So make sure you're getting down there and smashing that like button because I love when people like the video and let me know they're downloading the template. It really means a lot and helps me drive myself to keep creating these awesome templates and I spent a good amount of time on this one so if you guys go down and smash the like button that would mean a lot and let me know that you guys enjoy when I make stuff like this but without further ado let's take a look at ninja's template that I'll be providing to you inside of After Effects. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. This is my ninja style countdown or starting soon screen. If you haven't seen his countdown to compare this to, make sure you head on over to his past broadcast on Mixer and check it out. And then you can come compare and see how close they actually are. But the first thing you're probably noticing is the yellow X's in the background of the beginning here. And the reason that's there is because he's got the swords that cross and uh, that's part of his branding. That's a logo that he uses. And you guys normally don't, wouldn't have swords as your logo, crossing swords as your logo. So I threw in the X's here just so you had something in the background that looked like ninjas if you wanted to have something similar to ninja. But I'm gonna show you how you can turn those X's off and just have it be blank if you want that as well. But let's take a look at the uh, template all the way through and see what it looks like. It's gonna start at five minutes from the countdown. This timer is baked in and cannot be changed from five minutes. So if you do wanna create a timer that's more than five minutes, you're gonna to have to delete my timer and create your own one. I have a tutorial on it earlier in my channel in my stream starting soon video. And then there's also plenty of tutorials online on how to make your own countdown inside of After Effects, but you're gonna to have to create your own if you want it more than five minutes. So as you see, we start counting down from five minutes. We got the dark blue background in the back. We got the yellow X's moving, and then we got it slowly fading up to a light blue. And then the X's go to a darker color, a nice black. Then we've got this wipe coming through that's gonna take away the timer and the logo comes in. We've got this yellow side that comes in and does some cool stuff and then flies back out. And the timer kept going while all that was going on. So we're still counting down. Then we've got some more yellow that comes in here with your logo. And then we're gonna fade back into the timer here on yellow. And then we're gonna wipe in to where it started. It's gonna wipe in with the dark background and the yellow X's. And then we're gonna repeat from there. So as you can see in the composition, we've got a ton of them repeating here all the way down three minutes two minutes one minute and then it comes to zero and it will hold on zero for just a little while just in case you need it to stay on zero for a minute before you switch to your stream and then uh then it disappears and you're good to go you can transition to your gameplay or whatever but you can export this entire thing but let's take a look at how you can customize this now so as you can see we're in the final render tab now this is where you're going to finish your render once it's done you've got the full countdown from five to zero here is the Your Logo Here tab. So this is where the fake logo is. And just like all my other templates, you're just gonna wanna delete this or just hide it and then bring in your logo, place your logo in and then just resize it. Make sure it's just in this kind of general size here, fits inside the composition and then it'll replace with your logo. And then the X layer here, this is the X that is duplicating in the background that's moving. And if you want to turn that off, you just gotta either delete it or hit the eyeball. And you'll see if we go back to final render now and we go through, you'll see there's no more X's in the entire thing. It's just blank now. So you can turn off the X's if you would like. I'm gonna leave them on for you. Then we've got color one and that is the dark blue color. So if we click on the dark blue color, go up to effects controls, you'll see that we've got this fill effect and we can click here and change this to whatever color you want. So let's say we wanted to start with more of a dark green and then color two is what it fades to. So you see we've got the lighter blue. Let's say we wanted to fade that to a light green instead. And then color three is the yellow one that comes flying in and does all the stuff. Let's say the yellow, we want that to be like a a sam orange I guess that's not really salmon. I was gonna say salmon. An orange just just orangish, just like that. And then let's take a look at the final render again. As you can see, we start with green now, and then it fades to the lighter green. And then the orange comes in and flips around. We go back to the dark green. We got all kinds of orange and whatnot. So as you can see, it's really easy to change the colors inside of the comp. I'm gonna go back to what they were. Other than that, guys, it's really up to you how you wanna deconstruct this template and make it your own. You can 
take off the X, you can change your logo, you can change the colors, but I'm also gonna show you that there is an animation block composition here, and this is where all the animation takes place. You see there's no timer because the timer comes in later, but this is where all the animation takes place. These are all my layers that are moving around creating this animation, and I would really love for you guys to go into this and break it down and see how I animated it and see if there's anything you would like to change because I know when I provide these templates, a lot of people just want to take the templates and just be done with it. But once everyone has the same starting soon screen, it kind of loses its cool factor. So you kind of, I kind of want you guys to go in and see how I made it and see if there's something that you can change and make it look even more um, like, like you, like for your stream, don't make it completely copy ninjas, make it your own. And you can do that here inside of this animation block and just kind of break down how I did all of my animations. It's really cool to kind of reverse engineer somebody else's work and see what I did. But once you guys are done either changing the animation or um, changing colors, changing the X, changing your logo to whatever you want, you're gonna come back here to the final render and you see we've got the in and out points set for you for over five minutes because it stays at zero for a while. We've got this massive template or this massive timeline of five minutes and it's already set for you. So you just wanna go to composition add to render queue and then right here where it says lost list you want to click there you can leave it on avi but that file would be humongous for something like um obs to read i don't even know if obs can read an avi but that would be a humongous file so i definitely recommend changing it to quicktime you can leave it on rgb here everything's good here hit okay and then you want to click where it says final render next to the output two and you can click there name it whatever you want save it wherever you want and then you just want to hit render this is going to be a little bit of a longer render than you might normally be used to with my templates because it is a five minute template it's a pretty insane template but i hope you guys enjoyed it there's so much you could do inside of this template other than and just changing the colors and changing the X and changing your logo. So make sure you dive into it and see how I animated it. See if there's anything you'd like to change. But if you want to take the template for how it is and just have it like ninjas, you can definitely do that too. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the template. I spent quite a bit of time making it look just right for you because so many people have requested it. So whether you take it and make it your own or take it how it is and just change the colors in your logo, either way, I hope you guys enjoy the template and download it. Once again, make sure you're smashing that like button because it really helps drive me to create more templates and spend more time on them like this. But once again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.